What's up guys? What's going on? It's your boy Ivan. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can change the font size or sorry, the text size of your ClickFunnels text uh, in text editor. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is two. One is the maximum size in headlines is 72 and in text editor, it looks like it's 39. Second of all, if you're using headline, it looks like you can only change the text size for the whole Thing, right for the whole headline uh, that is not the case in text editor I want to show you how you can change and increase the font size or the text size uh, in on different words okay so very useful thing to do if you really know programming all you have to do is just go to the HTML section of text editor and don't watch this video just do what you got to do if you're new at, or if you don't know anything at programming like me I don't know anything um, you can just watch this video and you can learn very easy simple to do okay so let's jump straight in I'm gonna go to edit page and here in our last video, we have um, just changed, I went over how you can change the different colors, uh, have as many different colors as you want, which is again, more efficient than headlines. Uh, so here, so let me just show you first of all. So when I go here, as you can see, the maximum font size is 72 in headlines. And the maximum font size here, it looks like it is 39, but that is not the case, okay? So obviously, if, if you want to change your size, you can go here and you can change it, but it's only up to 39. Now, if we want to do more than that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into this HTML uh, file. And again, you don't need to know programming, okay? Just, just follow exactly what I'm doing. Uh, it's very simple to do. And now you can see when you go here that it gives you little commands in brackets. So those are basically commands. They say what we want this certain text to be. So here, you know, the color of this text and the, the font size uh, of this word is going to be this, okay? So that's the command. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to change the size. So as you can see here, the size for that is 30. So if you put in any value in that, it's gonna change. So if I make this 100, it's gonna make it 100. If I make this 50, it's gonna be 50. I click update, there you go, okay? Awesome, easy to do. Uh, now here's the question. What do you do if you want to change individual words? So instead of, for example, instead of standard item uh, or instead of standard item price being all the same, you want to have standard, you know, 75, you want to have item 25, you want to have price 50, and you want to have 75, 100. How do you do that? Well, let me show you how to do that then. Again, just if you don't know programming, that's fine. Just look at the, um, um, just, just follow this guide step by step. So I'm gonna go here. So let, let me just write something. Let's say I want this to be um, 100. I want this to be 50, this to be 75, and this to be, ooh, ah, let's make it 25, okay? So the, these are the fonts. The 150 and 75 are not available in here. Uh, let me just make something that's not available for the 25 either. Let's make it 40. Okay, and these guys, this 100 is not available either, okay, uh, or, or 75 is not available in headline mode either. So this is really the only way how you can change your size. So now that we've done that, let me just put this at 30 so I can actually see what the heck's going on. Uh, so we have this, okay. So I'm going to keep everything at 30, uh, and I'm going to make this 100, this 50, this 75, and that size 40, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, open text editor. I'm going to go. So first thing, let me just do this. Let me change the size of the words I want just to make it easier for me when I go to that uh, HTML editor. Let me just change the size here. So, you know, I'll make this, I'll make them all different. I'll make this 39. I'll make this 38. I'll make this 36 and I'll make this 35. Okay. There you go. So now I'm going to go here. And now again, you can see how whatever font size is pointing at, that's the, the word or the number that's going to be uh, changed. Okay. So in this case, it's saying span style font size 39, and it, it's got the command right before a hundred. So that means that the, this is going to be changed as well as actually all of this. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change this to 100. But the problem with this is it's going to change everything to 100. Uh, we don't want that. So what we need to do is right after whatever we want changed. So let's say even before the comma, we need to put the command um, tri triangular bracket forward slash span. 
and that breaks the command and limits it only to that one word that's between those two, okay? So we're gonna click update and there you go. So we've done that, so that is now 100. So now we need to do the same thing for 50. So when you look at here, uh, just find whatever brackets point to that word. So as you can see here, it's on to 50 and here it ends. You see, so here they, they've done it for you. So sometimes this, the system here glitches out. Uh, so I want this to be right font size 38. Okay, so we need this to be 50. We're gonna click 50 and you don't need to click, uh, you, you don't need to input the command slash span because that's already done for you here as you can see. So that's fine, right? That's done. So we wanna make the one that, so here it's pointing at 75. So let's make that 75. And let's make, um, okay, and here again, it points uh, 75. It, 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 it has that slash span, that end command, so that's fine. And then here, font size 40, it, it's got that as well. So let's make that 40. There you go. You just changed different uh, sizes to whatever you want. Now, suppose you want to change the size of I want this to be, I want this to be, this to be, and this to be. You want those to be different sizes. Uh, let me just show you how you can actually change the size of the whole thing first. So if you want to change the size of this, of, of everything, what you're going to do is you're just going to copy this code that they have here. So just copy that. Everything, brackets included, don't, don't uh, cut it, just copy it. Uh, brackets included. And paste it right before, right before the words that you want changed. And now just change that size font. So make it, uh, suppose we want, you know, the default to be... Assume it's something, again, that's not on the system. Let's make it 60. There you go. So now that you've made it 60, everything except the words that we've changed will be 60, okay? So as, as, as you can see here, 60 obviously less than that 100. 60 is a bit bigger than that 50. Definitely smaller than 75 and definitely much bigger than 40, okay? So, so we've done that successfully. Now suppose you want to change it even more and you don't want everything to be... Um, you don't want everything to be 60. You want... Only maybe this part to be 60 and everything else to be um, 55, okay? So then what you would do is you would go after these words. So I want this to be. So you're going to go after to be. You're going to enter the command again, slash, forward slash, span. And that's it. So that changed that. Now all of those are different. Now if you want to change it, uh, if you want to change the rest of it to 55, you can go to I want this to be. So go right before I want this to be, copy, again, this thing, brackets included, copy it, don't, uh, don't, and in fact, I'm going to put it before the comma because we still need to worry about the comma, right? Copy it there, and I'll make this 55 and leave it as is. And wherever you want it to end, just after that word that you want to end, put uh, triangular bracket forward slash span, okay, and that's going to do it. But there you go. So we've basically achieved that. So right after I want this to be, that's 60, but that is actually 55. So let me just make it a bit more clear for you guys because uh, maybe you're thinking, uh, what the heck? It looks the same, right? So here, I'll make that. No, oh, that's too much, too big of a difference. Let me make that 40. Okay, there you go. Okay, so you can clearly see the difference here. That looks different. And that is how you change your font size. Something very important, but something overlooked. Again, if you have the programming knowledge, I mean, don't bother. You know how to do all this. Uh, maybe you can give me a lesson. Uh, but hopefully this helped you guys that have absolutely no knowledge in programming like me, had no idea with the HTML code and had to kind of do some digging and some research to find out how this can be done. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. If there's anything at all you want me to go over in, in any uh, area, um, like technical area, but in terms of like uh, things that we went over, click funnels, get response, click magic, let me know. I'll be happy to tell you guys, or if, if it's hard to understand, maybe I'll make a video, okay? So once again, thanks a lot. Uh, please subscribe. For those of you that are already subscribed, I really appreciate it. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.